the high million, level, yeah. the high level view. Yeah. So the company is uh, is uh, a little over three years old. Um, we were very fortunate to get funding from the best VCs there are in the valley. So we have uh, Sequoia Capital, uh, Axel Partners. So Sequoia, of course, has funded Google and yeah. everybody. Axel is Sequoia, right? yeah, Axel is no slouch. Yeah. They've funded Facebook and Riverbed and a lot of other successful companies. Yeah. And then we have Lightspeed Ventures as well. So these are our three uh, uh, VC funders. Yeah, top rate VCs. Okay, so you attracted a lot of uh, good good VCs. And how much did you raise? Oh, so we've raised thirty three million dollars. Thirty three so million. Okay. So and, uh, you know it's a nice base of capital. But going into the storage market is not for the. It's uh, yeah, you can't do I it mean, on the cheap. It's not a. It's I mean it's a good amount, right? Yeah. It's not a ridiculous amount, but it's you know you'll it's good to have. Right. Oh, what's your headcount now? So we're about 60 people 60 right now. people. All right, so good good base. Uh, where are you located? We're located actually not far from here. We are in San Jose, northern San Jose. There's a big technology area right here around Cisco, so that's where we are. And you've got are. customers, right? You you we, were you 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 helped early on in acquiring some of those customers. Yeah, right? we have customers. Actually, we started shipping in Q3 of last year. And okay. so at the at the end of the year, we looked back it, it looked like a tremendous year to us. And we looked back and compared ourselves to all the f- best storage companies we could find, NetApp, Data Domain, Equalogic, and we found that our initial ramp compared to uh, their initial ramp was terrific. We'd actually beaten them all. So at least at this stage of growth, we are the fastest growing storage company that we know of. Uh, okay. So that's uh, great. You yeah. know, so, so the challenges that we have internally is how do we scale this company? We know that the box is, uh, you know, is, is fitting within the markets. And now the question is, you know, how, how do we scale the company and grow? Because when you start scaling at this rate, everything breaks. Yeah. So <laughs> you're always fixing. So let's talk about the God box for a minute, all right? Because this is really fascinating to me. So when I think primary storage, like you said, you think about, you know, the... the you, the user doesn't have, you want, don't want to make the user wait. You think about you know efficient storage. I think about things like you know v- storage virtualization and snapshots and thin provisioning. That was sort of the hot thing, and sure. and and, and there may be different protocols. So what's that? Let's start with the primary piece. What's sure? W- w- what are the attributes that make your product? What do you call the product, by the way? It's, uh, it's called the CS series. The so CS the converged series. storage. So it's the, converged the CS two hundred. Uh, currently, uh, there are two models, the 220 and the 240. Okay. So what makes it um, a, a, a best-of-breed primary storage sure. device? Are you even going after a best-of-breed? Are you trying to be good enough in all three, or are you trying to be best-of-breed in, in all? We all are actually, so, yeah, so we can be best-of-breed, and so we are aiming to be best-of-breed in all of these. Okay. So let me tell you a little bit about the initial target market. The architecture is actually very broad. Uh, spans, uh, you know, the full market from low-end customers to very high-end customers. But we decided to start with mid-size enterprises. And so what we're doing is, um, so you asked about how do we do the primary storage part and how do we do it well. So we have a layer of flash on top of disk. And, uh, and there are a, a, a number of things we do well. So we use those multi-core processors I mentioned to compress data on the fly as it comes in. And now a number in line. Of, in line. Real time. Real time. And a number of custo- uh, a number of companies have been talking about uh, primary storage um, uh, compression. We're the only company we know of that can do it not just for your cold data, but also your hot data that is in use at the same time. Well, store-wise, right? Um, so yes, yeah, store-wise is doing that with a hardware-based system. Yeah. But uh, there are some restrictions uh, around how they do it. Uh, I'll tell you yeah, how yeah. how what we do. But they're one, and then and I guess uh, would you include Permabit in there? But which is data deduplication for yeah, primary. But those right. are really the only two. That, that are that are real time, right? Right, yeah. right. So at, at least in, you know, in terms of the major vendors, people like NetApp who who do primary storage or EMC, uh, right. there are m- many more restrictions based around. Yeah, you got to be careful. I mean, the users we've talked to, they're very careful about how they apply compression in EMC and NetApp, whereas. On paper, anyway, Permabit looks good, but they don't have any really commercial deployments yet. And of course, store-wise, I think prove the you know the sold IBM for 140 million. Exactly. I don't know what's happened since then. So, so they've done well, and I don't know where that product is going. But what we did is take. I think it's going embedded. By the way, I mean it's you right. Know, I, I think that's where it's got to go. And, and yours is embedded. I think it you, is you've embedded. got the right approach, the right model. The, 
the store-wise appliance model as a separate appliance right. is, is we're dead not, end. Yes, we're not a no. box in front. There are too many failure scenarios when you have a box in front of your regular storage and it's expensive. That's another point of complexity exactly. that IT doesn't want to have to exactly. manage. Right? Ours is integrated in, but that's not all we do. So then we have the inline compression that sits on top of flash. So we have a layer of flash that acts as a cache. And so all your primary storage, it's la large enough to hold your primary working set. So all your apps typically will run out of flash. And that gives you really, really high IOPS. So that's where we excel in the primary storage space. Uh, in okay. fact, users who upgrade to our systems comment on how fast the system has become just because now they're running out of flash when they used to be running out of So from the emphasis in the last, say, five years, when I think of companies like 3PAR or or, or even in, in the, now, is we talking, we're talking block here, a file or both? Oh. Or so we decided to start with iSCSI, so it's all okay. block. Okay. All right, so when you think of you know the left hands and equal mm -hmm. logic, you think real simple. You think you know highly virtualized, thinly provisioned. Mm -hmm. Are all those attributes? Sort of they included? are all. So there. that's table stakes. These those days, are right? the table stakes. Yeah, yeah, so okay. thin provisioning, uh, cloning, um, uh, snapshots, uh, replication, HA failover. Those are all table stakes. You've okay. got to have those if you want to work in any kind of enterprise primary storage So you've got space-efficient snapshots, right? So you mm -hmm. can do kind of the, the NetApp approach of taking a, a CDP and then shooting it off. And now it brings us to the, to the next tier, the, right. the backup tier. So, by the way, I am on record. Backup is busted, right? The backup yes. model is so broken. It's complex. It's, first of all, it's insurance, and everybody's overpaying for their yes. insurance, right? Yes. And... and, and we're talking about a process that's a one-size-fits-all process that's that's been architected 30 years ago for serial tape. It's broken. Right. But people, your backup is broken. I know you don't want to change it, but you got to change it with virtualization and the whole I.O. storm. It's it, got to change, right? Absolutely. And, and, and CDP, which I think is where you're headed, is is part of the answer, right? You take the yes. continuous snapshots, mm -hmm. right? It's time. It's Apple time machine for the enterprise. Exactly. Okay. That so is exactly right. So talk to us. This is, I'm excited <laughs> because... Um, you're, you're, you've got a product that does exactly what I've been saying the market needs now. You've been out three years and I didn't even know about yeah. it, so it, I want to learn more. It, so. it is terrific. Tell us about the, the yeah. second tier here. In so. fact, uh, uh, get, uh, you know, at Data Domain, our motto was tape sucks, and, and really our Backup motto... Backup sucks. Is, yeah. That is right. Yeah, That's our on. motto That's at Nimble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's great. So, so what we do is, so we, we do take compressed snapshots, and this allows us to store 60 to 90 days of snapshots on our box, and it becomes much, much cheaper than uh, say a data domain box, where you've got to have a copy on your primary and on your on your secondary box. Yeah, yeah. But then beyond that, so what this does is when you're using uh, snapshots for backups, your backups complete much quicker. Now it's a snapshot. Instead of doing this massive copy of data from your primary to your secondary, and by the way, while that copy is happening, your primary is on its knees. You can't get any work done. Right. Because you're this busy way, scanning. you can shoot it off site. Right. Make it an asynchronous job. Keep taking your snapshots. Exactly. You know, so our offsite box is actually an identical box to our primary. So we just take the uh, the continuous snapshots and uh, and send them over, and they're very van efficient because we've uh, inline compressed the data. And so now, what happens in a failover? It's terrific because now the app can point directly to your replica. There is no need for this painful recovery process that you would have to go through with, say, a backup to disk box or a tape-based system. You know, so your recovery time objectives are way better. You know, you go from days to, to minutes. Yeah, so, in, I mean, there's so many trends now. You got virtualization putting a lot of pressure on, on you know, I.O. Mm -hmm. You got you got the business wants lower RPO and RTO, mm -hmm. right? And, right. And, and the broken backup process that we just talked about can't support that. It's not sustainable. It doesn't scale. That's right. Right, okay. So now, a key here, as you said, is the, the multi-core, because you're doing a lot of work with the compression. That's right. right. So that's not free from, that's a, right. from a CPU cycle standpoint. Right. Um, but, you know, the trends are our friend. You know, the more yeah. cores, the better. We hey, data will. domain bet on, on Intel, and it was the right bet. Right. right. Oh, this is fantastic. So you got to, have you briefed Wikibon yet? Um, you got to come I'm in and brief us. Sure, uh, we would we, love we to do make that. that happen. So David Floyer is our is our CTO. He he he'd have a million better questions than I have. 
but we'd love to learn more. Nimble storage, very interesting, combining primary storage and backup and disaster recovery into a single solution, leveraging flash, levering, leveraging multi-terabyte uh, drives, and leveraging multi-cores to create a, a solution that is sounds very exciting. Uh, 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 really want to learn more and, uh, and and would love to have you guys brief us and write you guys up and we and, would love uh, to do share that with our users because uh, this is a phenomenal story. I, I really like the uh, the approach. Yeah, All right, great. cool. So uh, Varun from uh, Nimble Storage, Varun Meta. Thank you very much for coming on the Cube. It was great to have you. Thank you, Dave. Uh, watch this company. Uh, well funded, thirty three million from uh, the blue chip VCs out here. So we'll be watching. Thank you, Dave. All right, take it's care. Been a pleasure.